Hello there fellow NPCs, I am Karma Scythe and today we're going to continue to play Acting Lessons. So we have just finished off the Cabin of Temptations and we ended up learning that Liam has cancer and on his bucket list he wanted to do new things as it were. So the first new thing we took him to was an improv class with Megan and Melissa. No, not Melissa, sorry, Rena. And he screwed it up. He got insecure, not only about the acting, but also about his body. And so and when he ended up on the dance floor, he just could not take it and threw in a dragon instead. And he is now permabanned from uh, Make Believe. Uh, or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, now we have also collected some stuff. No. Where... We actually don't know what's going to happen now because Melissa said she wanted to pick up some stuff before going home but that was after the cabin so we already done that. We have all her things now. We in a brand new scene where we know nothing. So let's go. Hey guys. So how was it? It was really fun. Liam was all over the place though. Mrs. Pearson asked him not to return. I'm not surprised. Listen, I called my mom. I don't fucking get her. She moved in with her sister to get away from Peter but refuses to press charges against him. The police had to let him go. What? This can't be right. What about your statement and your black eye? I know, but does it matter? I can't do shit about it now. Well, you can still press charges. The only the reason I could ever think of that you can't press charges is if you are a minor and need a parent's approval. That doesn't make much sense either. But you can still press charges yourself. Don't worry about it, Melissa. You got all your belongings and you don't have to deal with him again. Can we do something for you, Melissa? You've already done enough for me. I'm about to hug them. Sure. <laughs> Always this extremely blank canvas. Not even a painting or anything. Next week is going to be quite hectic for you, huh? Yeah, with the play and auditions, I have so much to do. There won't be much time for me to hang out with you guys. And that's okay. Melissa and I will manage, right Melissa? Of course. I promise to help Liam with this list too, so don't feel bad about it, Megan. Is there anything we can do to help you? If you don't mind. I'd like to help some with practicing for the other audition. Sure, I'd love to help you with that. By the way, when are you actually auditioning for these movies? On Wednesday. That soon, huh? How about we practice tonight, then? That would be great. But what about you, Melissa? Don't worry about me. I'll just watch some TV upstairs. What's the second movie about? Well, I don't know if it really suits me. It's really far off from who I am as a person. But you're an actress, Megan. I'm sure you can pull it off. Exactly, that's what I'm feeling as well. Sure, there's some roles you will never be comfortable doing. I can get that. But as an actor, you still have to do a lot of strange things. That is not necessarily close to your own personality. Right? That's true. I am an actress. But I would, uh, but I would be portraying a very sexual character. Aha, that's what scares me. Either way, the movie is called The Yester. I'm auditioning for the part of a deranged woman named Dr. Davidson who has a way of manipulating those around her. In the scene she's trying to escape prison by seducing the prison guard. Okay. I don't know if I should be scared or turned on or... Uh, both. <laughs> Probably both. Let me guess. I'm reading for the prison guard. Yes. 
You're getting so good at this, Kurt. Okay, now I really need to become someone else for a while. Don't mind me, Megan. Let's go do it. Let's get to it. The danger is Dr. Davidson is plotting her escape. She's been rightfully imprisoned for her heinous crimes. Fools as they were, they thought that a single prison guard would suffice to keep her locked, in, locked inside a cell. They were mistaken. <laughs> hey, keep quiet. Keep it quiet, will you? Harley Quinn. Oh! <laughs> What's this? The sad, lonely prison guard is mad with little me. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going all in. You, you can hit it or leave it or whatever the fuck else, but I'm having fun. <laughs> Poor little guard. I'm alone here at night. Don't make me come in there and shut you up. Ooh, you're no fun. I'm bored. Come play with me. I told you to shut up. Ooh, you're so scary. I'm so scared, Mr. Prison Guard. Oof. Have I been bad? Would you like to spank me? <laughs> ah! Oh, hey, Kurt! That hurt. That wasn't part of the script. I'm sorry, Megan. I was going to help myself. Is it a dialogue or... Uh, I don't know. I think it's a bit of everything. I haven't seen you do this. I haven't seen you this way before. And also, not only that, but she's always uh, taking the main character. Uh, she could just be a side character. You know, work your way up there. Well, I guess that will have to do for now. As you apparently lack the willpower to stay in character. Sorry, Megan. It was just too sexy. <laughs> I can tell. Who knows? Maybe I'll surprise you with the costume if I get the part. Wow. Don't tease me like that. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Dr. Pancake, but these closing-in close-ups are bad. Thank you both for this weekend. Even though it had these ups and downs, I really loved it. Me too, Megan. Sleep tight, guys. Boop, 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 boop. What the hell is this supposed to mean? That is not part of the male anatomy. This is something else. Well, there was someone watching us. Oh, I was joking about that in the previous episodes. But I'm guessing that is someone is stalking us, watching us through the window. I'm guessing that was Peter. I need to check that in edit to really find out what the hell that was. You asked him to not do something crazy during the party. You told everybody that you were okay with Liam dating someone from your romantic past. You chose to find Liam over dancing with Rina. Liam told you his secrets. You are Liam's friend. Still at only 2.5. Sheesh. You have rejected Melissa, she will remain your friend. You didn't spend any extra time with Rina at the cabin. You chose to find Liam over dancing with Rina. Rina tried to fuck you into spite Megan. You chose to spend extra time with Megan at the cabin. 
You and Megan had your first date. You and Megan are currently dating. Good morning, sexy. Is it morning already? Who is this and who are we? How much are we covering up? Uh, damn. Oh, that's Anna. I'm so tired. <laughs> we didn't go to bed that late last night. Even so, we didn't fall asleep immediately. You didn't seem to mind me that. You didn't seem to mind that when I was on top of you. Okay, it says a uh, long cross, uh, long flashback. One man's solitary journey to the ends of the earth on foot. To the, are you telling me that you? This is a flat earther. Can local government pay its way? Announces new deal with Martians. What the hell? I need to know more about this world. What? I just can't believe how lucky I am to be with you. <laughs> Will you stop it? You threw an apple at me? Fucking cheese ball. We just spent two years together now. Yeah. Time really flies when you're sitting on your ass all day, huh? <laughs> Stop it already. You just have to get used to me being retired. Ugh, retired. Stop using that word. You're not old enough to call yourself that. Well, that's the proper term for it, Anna. I'll quit my job and will never have to work again. Just shut up and move to Florida already. If I move, I'm taking you with me. You wouldn't. Why don't we though? Why don't we what? We've been together. You serious? Yeah, I basically live here already. And that way I wouldn't have to borrow your panties when I'm too lazy to go back home to change clothes. Oh, you're out of your mind, Kurt. That doesn't sound like a no to me. Okay. Let's fucking do it. But I'm dumping your ass at the first mention of pruning you some young. <laughs> Come here, you. Yes, I really... I love you. Saying farewell. How lucky am I? Just look at Megan. She's so beautiful. I can't believe that she wants to be with me. What should I do about Leah and Rena? Did it ding? Hmm? Better sneak up quietly. Oh, a text from Leah. <laughs> Bro, meet me downtown in two hours. I planned something for us. No! Fuck, I forgot about that pick. Disgusting. Bro, meet me downtown in two hours. I gotta plan something for us. Good morning, Kurt. Oh, morning. Did I wake you? No. I feel well rested. <laughs> Look at Melissa. She must be really tired today. She looks so cute sleeping like that. Come, let's go eat breakfast. I don't want to wake her up. So, what are your plans for today? Liam just texted me. He wants to hang out. I suspect that it's related to his bucket list. Poor Liam. I really hope he pulls through. He will, Megan. He must. Either way, that's what I'm doing today. You and Melissa... You and Melissa should join. I would love to join, but I have an acting class today and tonight it's time, for, it's time to perform again. 
Oh yeah! Would you like me to be there? No, you don't have to. Give me this, I should do something fun instead. Yeah, I guess we could do something fun together. Just me and her. Someday soon. We'd love to have a second day for you, Kurt. Can we do something romantic? I love that too, Megan. How about tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow evening would work. Great. Leave the planning to me. Ah, oh, that's sweet of you. Thanks for breakfast. I gotta run to class. Say hi to Melissa for me when she awakes. Bye. Bye. And good luck. Melissa. Good morning. Oh. Morning already? Wow, I'm really tired today. You want to sleep more? No, I, I should get up. I'm sleeping downtown. I'm going downtown to meet up with Liam. Would you like to join us? Sure. Let me just grab a shower real quick. Hmm. I recognize that car. How thick is it now? Of course. I thought it would be Peter, but maybe it was Dick. Oh! You think you can see my girl? You son of a bitch! Oh, fuck you! Uh, Bob. Oh, fucker! Oh! -ho -ho! You bitch! Dick, calm down! Fuck you, dude! You think you can steal Rena from me? I'll fucking show you! This isn't over! I thought it was the Blackmobile. I was not paying attention and it closed. And well, I was not paying close enough attention. Melissa, are you alright? Me? What the fuck about you? You were the one who got hit! I'm fine. You find my bed, I see. Yeah, it was by the door, so I just grabbed it when I saw you on the on the ground. Thank you, Melissa. Who was that? Steel Rena? What did he mean by that? Yeah. Yeah, it was Dick, Rena's ex-boyfriend. Okay. During the party, Rena told me that Dick had contacted her and wanted her back. It was persistent and Rena had to tell him that she was dating me in order to get him off to, to get him to back off. I guess he didn't take it lightly. He seems unstable. Are you going to be okay? I don't know, I'm still worried about the concussion. They haven't said if it's completely over or how long it's been or anything like that, so I don't know. I'll have to stay on my guard from now on. Come, let's go. What are we doing today exactly? Liam never told me. That means a strip club. <laughs> and it does sit on a purpose because it knows how much I hate surprises. <laughs> yeah, surprises suck. Okay, oh, and now we're bringing a surprise to him by bringing Melissa. Okay, this is the location. I don't see Liam anywhere. Boom! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Missy. Fuck, you scared the shit out of me! Okay, just tell us, what are we doing here? I'll give you a hint. Bzzz. Shaving our heads, starting a honeybee farm, getting a tattoo. Oh, right, it is say a tattoo, right. Yeah, getting a tattoo, but I was uh, thinking honeybee farm. Especially when it did this. What the hell is this? How is this a tattoo? <laughs> starting our own honeybee farm? Close. We're getting tattoos. How is that close? 
That's a hell no for me. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to want one either. Come on, Kurt. I want us to get matching tattoos, bros for life, you know. Matching tattoos. <laughs> How cute. Yeah, just a small chest tattoo. You decide what my tattoo you should say, and I decide yours. It's gonna make me have a dick. No, 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 no way, Liam. Don't you trust me? No! I don't! You once asked me if I could sense the smell of popcorn, Liam. And I took a deep sniff. You remember what you had done? I had farted. You had farted. So no, Liam. Based on past experiences, I can't trust you on this. Yeah, I get it. It's not like I'm dying or something. Oh, fuck you, bro. <coughs> Fine. You're the worst. Really? Dude, you're not going to regret it. It's my treat. So, what will it be? I want a lettering tattoo in black on my left back. No! I was using for you, you were using for me. Do not go back on your word, dude. What you what should it say? That's up to my boy Kurt over here. We're deciding each other's tattoos. You, what should it say? Dude, those oh lord. That that is so fucking evil. Bros, bros. I think it should say bros in capital letters. Loving it. I kind of want to see his reaction, so let's just check. I think it should say rip. <laughs> okay, I like that too. Damn it! But I'm still going with bros. Loving it. Zzz. See, my impression was spot. Ha! Fuck that hurts! Oh, that's a horrible uh, font. I know that's the font for the game, but that's a horrible font for a uh, tattoo. So, what you think? Really like it. Looks great, Liam. Your turn now. Really? Fine. Your call, I guess. Fuck me, you're right, that hurts a lot. Want me to hold your hand? Oh, shut up. I'm not the one screaming from this. How does it look? <laughs> oh, wow. It's perfect. It's just so you, Kurt. What does it say? I should have gone with Rip. <laughs> what the fuck? I let you have bros and you put cum slot on me. But it's in cursive. Fuck cursive, that doesn't make it better. Don't worry bro, it's just like a fine wine. It will, get you, it will only get better with age. And hey, that's another thing I can check off my list. We're on fire. At this rate, I can die happy. Thanks, bro. That's a memory for life. Sadly. So, tomorrow... I have an appointment for chemotherapy at 2 o'clock. Say no more, Liam. I'm there. We can top it off with another thing from my list, so it's not too depressing. Yeah, how about at the two removal appointment? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm thinking something more harmless. I'll figure out the details. Tomorrow then. Tomorrow then. Yeah, bye comes that. Bye, Missy. Bye. So, Melissa. 
I know that you were supposed to do stuff today, but after what happened this morning with Dick... I really need to go see Avrina and talk to her about it. Yeah, I can understand that. If he's capable of, uh, of ambushing you. You better not fucking touch Rena. Yeah, I know. Is it okay if I drop you off at home? I'd rather do this alone. No problem. Hey, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Okay, come on in, I guess. So, I have a feeling I know what this is about. You do? Yeah, and please let me finish before you scold me. Scold you? Shh, sit. About what happened at the cabin? Me trying to fuck you? Sorry. I was drunk and high. And didn't do it with good intentions. What, what do you mean? Liam pointed, out, pointed it out to me. I did it to spite Megan. Did you really? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you're with her, right? Well, I'm dating her, yes. So there you have it. So if I didn't date Megan, you wouldn't, ha wouldn't have done it? Is that what you're trying to say? Does it matter? Of course it does. Well, I don't think I would have done it. At least not during the trip. I don't really know you that well yet. Normally I just don't jump into bed with random guys. Now look at Dick, I did him for two weeks and he didn't get any action. Speaking of Dick, I didn't come here to scold you. I came because uh, Dick ambushed me. Dick ambushed me this morning. He did what? When I went to my car, it was outside waiting for me. He attacked me from behind before I even saw him. Holy shit, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Melissa beat his ass with a bat. Whoa. Fuck. Must be, could be because of me. I'm so sorry, Kurt. Don't blame yourself for his actions. But I needed you to know. He is trouble and he doesn't hesitate to get violent. I should talk to him. Are you sure? Well, I can't have him beating... Well, I can't have him beating up my friends. I think it's better to ignore him. If he shows up, call the police. Don't worry. I've been uh, to self-defense classes when I was younger. Okay. If you need me, though. Don't hesitate to call. You really do care about me, don't you? Of course. Hmm... She's pretty damn cool, but I'm not sure if I want to change path into her. I, uh... Had I not already been making moves with Leah, I would most likely have gone with Rina. But I am also worried that Leah is a, um, a new foe, as it were. Oh, well, high libido. Um, but uh, I am not certain I should do anything with Rina at this moment. I only want what's best for you. Thanks, Kurt. I guess I'll see you later. Absolutely. Take care, Rina. Hey, guys. How was your day with Liam? Well, Liam wanted us to get chest tattoos. Wow, really? Let me see. I'm not sure you, you want to see. Oh my god! Come, slut! Could tell me this isn't real. I wish I could, Megan. I'm at a loss for words. Did Liam get that one too? No, he got the word bros. 
Listen, I only came back to fetch my bag. I need to get to, to rehearsal before my other play starts. You two have fun tonight. Bye guys. Good luck tonight. How's it going for you, Megan? And I am actually going to cut off right here because this is a, re a new scene right away. It's a new scene, so it's going to take a bunch of minutes at least. So I'm cutting off here for today. And in the next episode, we will see if we are going to make more moves on Melissa or not. Or if we're going to stay uh, true to Leah slash Megan. We will see how that whole thing develops. But if you want to watch anything else that I've been playing, you can find it at the bottom of the screen. And remember, just because you're not the main character doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.